Welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us as usual. Well, the past few years, he has uh, raised funds for surgery for 10 hole in heart children. Gospel artist Ni Yukai is looking to help heal 40 more of such children as he turns 40. Today, he's held a press conference here in Accra to launch the Yesuhi album. Let's focus more on hole in hearts, which is, of course, a big deal. Ni Yukai is in the studio with me. Ni, you're welcome. Hi, it's a pleasure. It's good to see you. I understand <laughs> while I was away that you've been here, or you've been here on Paul several times. Yeah, yeah, What yeah, have yeah. you been doing? Well, saving hearts. Saving hearts. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about the next 40 hearts that you're looking to save. First of all, give us a wrap of the first 10. How difficult a project was it, and yeah. where are those children It now? was a difficult project because raising um, $6,000 for one person is, is wow. no joke. So that's you what know. it cost? Yeah, yeah, $6,000 yeah. yeah, yeah. for one person for one with holding hearts? Yeah. Wow. And so you were able to raise, what, $60,000? We couldn't get to $60,000. God, God gave us a way out. We got to Confan Nochi. Okay. And then it happened that some missionaries were coming from the US, mm. were coming to volunteer their time to do the surgeries. Okay. So now we got more people involved. Okay. So we could pay. So okay. we didn't have to now pay all the $6,000. But okay. we started off at Cardio where we paid for three. Okay. And around that time, the CD was going down, down, down. So something that could have benefited two people ended up benefiting oh. just one person. One person. Because you had to raise yeah, more, more money more to than get a $6,000 equivalent. Oh, wow. But there was a lot to learn. And especially when we got from Fanochi, we realized that there were people from the north all the way to the middle belt of the country mm. who didn't have access to the capital to come to the cardio center. And okay. they were being held up at Confanochi. And there is no cardio center in Confanochi. Wow. Just one bed and one dedicated surgeon. And so wow. we realized that no, we needed to stop there and do something more sustainable with them. Which was what? Which is move it from 10 to 40 hearts and then move on onto an advocacy campaign to push some knobs and get people to consider a second cardio center in Confanochi. Well, speaking of Confanochi, um, I mean, it's a place that we've been doing a lot of stories on. Recently, Seth Kwame Boateng has been there, which has culminated in the uh, Save a Mother, Save a Child, Save a Mother project, which is uh, by the Rebecca Ekufado Foundation. So it, uh, it does appear that Confanochi Teaching Hospital needs a lot of support. Yeah, because so it, it happens to be the second largest hospital, hospital in, in and Cal. yet it's serving a larger constituency. Mm and people from very deprived areas. So you can see a lot of mothers and babies just sitting on the corridors because they've traveled a long distance mm. and they don't even have anywhere to lodge, so to speak, right. until they get attention. So we realized that the problem was, I mean, a lot bigger than the 10 hearts mm. we were doing. That you were doing. So now you're looking at helping to heal 40 more children. Yes. Are these children that are already available or are you now going to have to open so, so sort of open a bit when so that people will <laughs> bring Trust in me, they're already children. available there are there are hundreds of children right. waiting in queue wow you know hundreds okay. of children waiting in queue so we can only do so much but we believe that anytime we do some of these uh, initiatives we carry out some of these initiatives other people get interested and come to support and okay. so eventually all the others might get some attention okay so how does saving these hearts um, and of course, you are a Christian, so mm -hmm. you're looking, if you say saving hearts, you're mm -hmm. looking at not just sharing the word of God with people, but Absolutely. actually taking the steps that's healing people. But how does that tie in uh, into your album launch? Because you're tying the two together. Well, it, it so happened that we did a 10 heart project and everywhere I traveled globally, they had actually heard about the Saving Hearts Project more than New Kind Ministries. I so see. I realized that there's something bigger that the Lord has given me that I need to be faithful to. Okay. So anywhere I go, whatever I do, whether it's a solo I'm singing anywhere, I tell them about the Saving Hearts Project. Okay. And I can celebrate 40 years of my life here without highlighting the need to do at least 40. At least 40 children. Yes. At least 40 children. Where are the children, the 10? The 10 well, the 10, they are, they are, most of them are interestingly here in Accra. Though they hail from all the 10 regions. We, okay. we give them that criteria. So they selected one from each region. Okay. Um, they are all hail in Hati. And on the 24th of September, a lot of them are coming for the concert. Okay. As a testimonial of what God has done. With, with those 10. Okay, so finally, tell us a bit about this. The 24th. What's happening on the 24th? Well, my birthday is coming, um, 19th of September. But on the 24th, which is the Sunday, 
all my colleague artists, Joe Metal, Koda, Quisio Ting, Eugene Zuta, Ankla, to name it. They are all joining me to say thank you to God for 40 years of my life and a set album called Yesuhi, which means Jesus is good. Certainly, that's why you've got 10 children saved, uh, you know, from a disease that a condition that actually could have killed them. So this is happening on the 24th and 24th the venue. 24th at 4 p.m. at the Lighthouse Chapel in Sakumono. It's just opposite the Regional Maritime University. You got to be there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you have to be there because this is tied in. It is, it's tied into saving hearts. It's tied into saving children hmm. who are living with holding hearts, the holding hearts condition. It's certainly something that you want to be associated with me. Thank you very much for passing. It's always the a studio. pleasure. Uh,